Can I have a word, please, Liana? I know that you like Jacob. All right, fine, you just gotta pretend that you don't. I don't know what this has to do with you, so... You can't blame him for what happened between me and your dad, OK? Cos he had no idea what was going on, and when he found out, he was as unimpressed as you were. In fact, he won't even look at me. And it was only one kiss. I mean, nothing more. But that's because me and Gabby told my dad he had to pick between you and Benice. Which I think, I think that was a, a good thing for everyone. Yeah, well, he didn't struggle, he just chose her. And that's fine, right? Thanks, Liana. Anyway, I'm trying to talk to you about Jacob. He had no idea what was going on, so can you please stop treating him like he's done something wrong? Really likes you. And if you like him, let him know. <laughs> so Have a cuddle. Hey, mate. Oh, how was college? Don't be so rude and answer her. Are you going to go over and say hi? <sighs> Don't pressure him. Do what you want, mate. Hey. Hi. I did get your messages. Sorry I didn't reply. It's cool. So, do you want to hang out tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah? What do you want to do? I don't know yet, but I'll text you, though. Well? What? Mates again, are you? Stop being so nosy. You don't have to tell us. I uh, might have had a word with her earlier. I hope you don't mind me sticking my nose in, but I just said, look, you can't blame Jacob for what happened between me and your dad. I didn't mean for you to get caught up in my mess. You know you're the only thing that I care about. Let me make it up to you. I'll make you a stir-fry tonight if you're not busy. I'm not busy. Not you. Yeah, OK.